play Bennett recalls conversation with Belichick before signing 026 Martellus Bennett says he wasn't sure if he wanted to rush back to the Patriots because he hadn't gone through the seven stages of grief yet. 026923, Amp at Foxborough, Mass. Calling it a surreal week in which he was waived by the Green Bay Packers and claimed by the New England Patriots, tight end Martellus Bennett made an immediate impact in limited action during the team's 4,116 victory over the Denver Broncos on Sunday night. Bennett played seven snaps and finished with three catches for 38 yards. Then he addressed why he is still playing when he was prepared to undergo surgery in Green Bay. I talked to six or seven doctors about it, and it could go either way, and it was one of those things that I felt like should get fixed, Bennett said. And then, after trying to get it fixed and getting waved, you just got that vengeance in your heart. You're alike, all right, that's how you're going to do it then, let's go ball. Brady's rare win at mile high on Sunday was only a footnote in a bigger battle HES already winning, outlasting the Bill Belichick machine. Bill Belichick stands alongside Tom Landry in third place on the NFL's career head coaching wins list, with 270, after the Patriots' rout of the Broncos on Sunday. The Patriots took control of the Broncos early and now have a firm hold on the division and conference race. The shoulder injury was what led the Packers to waive him Wednesday with a failure to disclose a physical condition designation. Bennett disputed that the Packers did and Tino about his shoulder, posting an Instagram story that detailed his side. Bennett said quarterback Tom Brady reached out to him and relayed that he was intrigued about Bennett possibly returning to the Patriots, but Bennett wasn't sure what to do. Even when Bill Belichick contacted him, Bennett wasn't certain about his plans. When Bill called and said they had claimed, I said, no thing way, Bennett, said. Then he was like, what's going on and I told him, and then we had a quick conversation, and I was like, let me think about it, and I will call you back. Part of what led Bennett to join the Patriots was his familiarity with them from the previous season. I think this group of guys and this team, it couldn't be a better situation with what I am going through, he said. It couldn't be a better place for me. That might explain why he backed off an Instagram post from when he was with the Packers, in which he said this was probably his last season. I don't know, he said Sunday night, when asked about his future. I am just playing as I go. I am enjoying playing here and things like that, so life's good. As for criticism he has received from Green Bay, Bennett, said, I got criticism from all of my former organizations, so, I mean, F it at this point. I am rubber, and you're a glue, and anything you say bounced off me and sticks to you. On Sunday night, Bennett took the field for the first time with 518 remaining in the first quarter, and on his first play, he caught a short pass from Brady and ran for a 27-yard gain. Four plays later, he was on the receiving end of a five-yard pass. Bennett entered the medical tent on the sideline after the play and didnt returned to action until the second half. Brady said, Bennett did a great job, considering the quick turnaround. I love having Martellus on our team, Brady said post-game. He adds a lot. He is a great player and was for us last year. Hopefully we can keep building on it. Meanwhile, as Brady welcomed back Bennett, he connected with tight end Dwayne Allen for a touchdown for the first time as he inches closer to the NFL record for scoring pass targets. Brady's touchdown pass to Allen Allen's first catch with New England came with 25 seconds remaining in the second quarter and made Allen the 68th target to whom Brady has thrown a touchdown. The NFL record is 70, set by Vinny Testaverde.